haven't created a file folder journal in a while, and the one that I uploaded previously has turned out to be one of my most popular videos. So I thought it was probably time that I did another configuration of the file folder journal. So I'm going to create this piece right here from, I think I utilized a total of two file folders, but let's get started and I'll show you what I did. My name's Peg. I call my channel Two Old Pros Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. And of course, that notification bell does let you know when I upload additional content. Now, this video is off the rails for what I normally do. I like to keep things under 10, 15 minutes. This is about a half hour. So settle in and let's make this journal. I have chosen one file folder and I'm going to be folding that up to create the bottom pockets and I'm going to be folding this in to create those folds. So I'm folding that in before that middle section and I'm going to score that at about three and seven eighths is what this appears to be. So I'm going to take that to my scoreboard and get a nice good solid crease in there. Now you don't have to use a scoreboard. You can do this with a ruler or you can just fold it over and crease it with your, you know, by rubbing your finger down the side of it as well. So I have that scored. I'm going to press that firmly and get a good crease in it. And I'm going to turn it over to the other side and just flip it around. And that piece of the file folder is a little bit longer. So I'm going to score that at four and seven eighths. So it, it is about an inch variance in, in where I am scoring. And again, I'm just going to mark those folds. And of course, we want to leave that center, but I want to create a little bit of a spine. So I'm going to just go on either side of that middle fold by about an eighth of an inch to create that spine. So I'm doing that right now. So now when I fold that over, I have this nice, nice little spine there. So that allows for some bulk in this file folder. So now we have that completed and I want to create the bottom pocket. So I'm just kind of measuring up eight and a half inches and we will score that so that we we're going to have a finished piece that eight is eight and a half inches high so now i'll just fold that over and press that firmly into place and there there's the construction of our little pocket so now I want to cut some excess out and remove the bulk. And I'm just recording <laughs> what we have just done. As a matter of fact, I was reading off of that while I was talking to you. But these pieces that I've marked, we are going to cut out. So there are our dimensions, and now I'm going to cut out each corner, kind of like you do when you're folding an envelope or creating an envelope. But I, I just want to remove some of that bulk so we don't have it, and then we will use these little pieces to create our pockets. So you can see we cut both sides, and then we cut that little center portion on the spine. And I'm just trimming that down to make that nice and neat. <clears throat> so there is our basic construction. So I'm going to round those corners off from my one pocket. And this, I think I'm going to create a little diagonal pocket there. So I'm just, you know, kind of working this through my head on where I need to cut to make sure that I don't cut it the wrong way and, and wind up with, you know, nothing. So I've just marked that off and I'm going to take a diagonal cut across that. And now I have that little tuck spot. So I just want to measure this out. So I get the true center and I can create that little thumb hole. And now I'm just going to ink 
around the outside edges of everything. So we'll ink all of the folds, all the outside edges, and I'm just using a vintage photo. And we'll ink this whole piece up. Give it that kind of distress. So there we go. We got the one side complete. We'll just finish this off and we'll turn around and ink the inside so that we're getting both sides of our little journal completely inked. Now, just to be clear, this is an eight and a half by 11 or an A4 size file folder. And now we have all of these little pieces that we have cut off as well. And I thought this might look really nice up here as a little flap. So I just kind of tagged off the corners and uh, put a little fold on it and we'll use that there. And now I'm utilizing a second file folder to create a fold over or a, I, I don't know whether I would call it a gate fold, but we are going to create a piece that folds down from the top and ties to this bottom pocket. I'm just trying to configure the size. So I'm going to get it laying about where I want and just mark it with a pencil and cut that off. I'm going to round the corners on it on one side. And now I'm going to just score myself a little fold about a quarter an inch from the top. And that allows that to hinge quite well. And we'll just ink around that. So we're just, we're not putting anything in right now. We're just kind of deciding how we want this to go together, choosing what kind of pockets and enclosures we're going to have on each piece and just getting everything cut. And I'm thinking about using this piece to create, you know, just a second little pocket over here. And I'm just, you can kind of watch the configuration. So now I have cut all of the paper to fit the back on each section and now I'm going to put another piece here on this little fold over flap and I just had this cute little face that I decided to cut out and put on the top of that so there that little flap is in place And now this pocket, I have glued the piece of scrapbooking paper to that pocket. And now I'm just going to, or I am gluing the piece of scrapbooking paper to the pocket. I just wanted to cut that little thumb hole. We'll ink that up and we'll get this back piece down. Once again, rounding the corners. And I'm using art glitter glue to glue all of this in place. I like it. You have to be quick with it because it dries really fast. And I had this nice Victorian lady that I cut out of the scrapbooking paper that she will be revealed when we lift up our little flap. So we'll set her right there and then we'll hinge our little flap on. Now before we do that I want to go through and I'm trying to make my, my decision here on the paper but before we glue the back side because we'll want a sheet of scrapbooking paper on the front and a sheet of scrapbooking paper on the back of this piece. But before we put the one in the back on, we're going to make a decision on how we're going, what type of closure we're going to use there. Let's just 
get it all inked up. Okay, so when this opens up, we'll want scrapbooking paper on the back of it, of course. So I'm cutting out just some little one inch circles and we'll also cut some one inch circles out of uh, this toilet paper roll. That's a little sturdier so we'll cut four of those and we will glue two of those together and then cover it with the scrapbooking paper. So that gives us a real sturdy little tab or uh, we'll put a brad through the center of this and just create a little button, if you will, that we can wrap our twine around. So we're going to set those aside and make sure they dry real well. And while those are drying, I'm going to put together just a little waterfall type journal or waterfall type uh, notebook, notepad, and get that adhered over here on this end flap. So I've just cut all the paper to one size. I'm going to tape it together. And then I'll take my tear ruler and just tear each piece slightly higher than the one underneath it. And that will create that uh, waterfall type effect. And I just am using scrap paper that I had that I had used as catch paper. There's paint on it. And I think that makes that have a, a little more interest. And I'll just ink around the bottom of each and around the sides. And then we'll glue that into place and I'm going to find a piece of, of the scrapbooking paper that I think looks nice and we'll cut that down and cover up where we had the staples. There, that gets that in place. And I'm just rolling something through my rolling mill or my embossing. I'm embossing those, those uh, two little um, toilet paper tube had dried and I just rolled them through the embossing folder to give them a little dimension. And now I'm just sticking a brad. I poked a hole in the center and I'm just going to stick a brad through the little one inch circle out of toilet paper tubes and scrapbooking paper. And I am deciding where I want that to be on that piece or on that hinged piece. And I'm going to stick that brad through and then we'll cover the bottom side of it with another piece of scrapbooking paper. So let's get the other one in. We'll ink around it and do the exact same thing. I'm just poking a hole through the center of it, grabbing a brad, measuring to make sure that we get it in, in the right place. We'll poke the hole through and stick our brad with our little button we created through that hole. And now we have Two little buttons that we can wrap our twine around to keep that closed. So now let's decide on what we want on the back side of these and glue that scrapbooking paper on the back. And I've decided to go just with plain copy dyed paper on the top one.
and just get it trimmed. Ink around the outside edge. And I have these images that I think would look good here. So I'm just going to cut one of these out. And we'll place that in the center of this flap. So when you open it up, you have something on the inside of the flap and you're revealing that little lady. And I'm going to just add a little bit of cheesecloth underneath it. And get that glued down. And now we'll hinge it, and that is in place. So I'm just going to take some twine and twist it around. And there, we have two sections complete. Well, kind of complete. We're going to add some tags inside this pocket. So let's just quickly put those tags together. And I have this piece of a paper that I received in a Happy Mail, and it's just a little piece of note paper, and I really like it, and I think it fits quite well with the theme of this little five folder journal. So I am going to utilize this and get it in into or make it into a tag. And I'm just using file folder pieces as the base for my tags. Of course, we'll ink around and then we'll trim that top into, you know, we'll trim those um, corners just on a diagonal to create that tag look. But let's get this copy stain paper on the back of it. We'll go ahead and use the credit card as our template and, you know, I've just cut a corner, diagonal corner on that that uh, old hotel key card and I use that as a template to cut my tags and then I have my little hole punch that I center up and cut that hole. We'll add some sari silk on the top and we have a nice little tag to stick down inside this pocket. And I'm using a boho stamp and I I'm going to use the same stamp throughout and I just add just a, a little bit of stamping on each piece. So now we have the tags complete, same process, just little scrapbooking paper, some coffee stain paper. We've sorry silked them all up, given them each a little boho stamp decoration and now they have their home in that uh, little hinged fold over. So let's go ahead and, and move to the other side and get some paper laid down. And here we have that diagonal pocket so I'm trying to determine what we want to do with that. And I have this piece of lace that I would like to incorporate somewhere, and I have decided that I think that it would look very good right here on the edge of this. So we're just kind of decorating as we go and uh, going with what we pick up and where we think it will look good. So we're creating on the fly.
And I've decided to use one of these other images, but instead of cutting it out just very square, I'm going to tear around it. and kind of layer it onto this piece right here. And that's another, this piece of file folder. And I didn't want to waste my glue, so I just glued, glued some scrapbooking paper to that. And I'm going to lay that down first, and then lay this little piece that I have scrapped together down on top of it. And of course a little cheesecloth. And I think this will create an interesting background on this section right here. So we'll get that glued into place. So now I'm thinking I want to create a little booklet to go underneath that twine. So I'm just going to measure the, I'm going to create the size of one of these um, little pictures I have here. So I'm just doubling the width so I can create just a little notebook. So we have the height of the picture times the width. So if the picture is one inches by three inches wide, then I want to cut my paper one inches by six inches. So when I fold it in half, we're creating that little, that little booklet. So the little booklet is together. We'll staple it together and we'll glue on this little image on the front. Make sure we get it in place. And I'm just stamping the little boho stamp throughout. And I think I'm going to add some washi tape to cover up the, the staples. So we'll just put this washi tape on the spine. And there, a very quick, very easy, very simple little booklet that we can tuck underneath that coin. Now I think I'm going to make an envelope to put in one of our pockets. So we'll just fold, you know, cut a long single piece. And I'm trying to determine what I want to go here. I was thinking envelope. And as I put that down, I'm not really liking the way that looks. So I'm going to set that envelope aside. We'll use it elsewhere. And I'm just going to accordion fold a piece. And then when you open that little flap up, you can unfold this little accordion piece of paper. Just inking up all of those folds. I added a little boho stamp on there. And I'm just going to put a little, um, you know, punch a little hole in it. And I am going to add a little piece of twine 
I'm going to go back and reinforce that because I don't think that the coffee stain paper is going to be strong enough. So I'm going to reinforce it with a little piece of file folder. I'm going to glue that down and then we'll punch that hole again. And that just reinforces that and we'll keep that paper from tearing. And we'll stick that twine through and then I'm going to add a bead onto each piece of that twine. And I think that will make a really cute little hole for that little piece of paper. Doesn't that look good? And we'll just glue that down. And this other little hinge cover will cover that up. So there, now we have those two sections, I think, complete. Now we'll glue down this little tuck spot. We have the little decoration on that third section. And I've decided to add a little more reinforcement here with the toilet paper tube. Just cut a little strip out of it. And now I'm just decorating that toilet paper tube we embossed. So it does have a little bit of interest to it. I was thinking I didn't really like that, so. I'm going to go for something else. I think I'm going to add a little button there. And we'll, uh, of course, have to have some thread going through that button. I laid it down at first without the thread. I decided that wasn't finished, so we need to add the thread through the button and get that down. Okay, we're coming right along. A little book. You open this up. You have the tags. You reveal the two little pictures. And then we come over here and we have the tag. We have the little envelope that we created that we didn't use. It will stick there. And now we have this final little section to get this side complete. So I'm going to glue this down and trim it up. And now to decide how to decorate this. A lot of thinking that goes into this. So I'm just going to Create, I decided to put a little pocket down there, so we'll create some more tags. And again, using that template. So we have all the tags cut. We just get some coffee stain paper on the back of them.
And now that I have everything in place, I'm going to go back with the liquid pearls and just add the liquid pearls wherever they look good. So we're just liquid pearling away. All of our pockets are getting liquid pearls on the edge. We'll add some up here on this little piece of toilet paper tube. And I think that's good for now. So I'm going to set that aside and let it dry. So this is the finished piece. We finished the inside. This is the outside front. This is now right here, the section that we just finished. So we will come back and do this side together in video number two. So thank you for joining me for side one of this biofolder journal. I hope you'll come back and take a look at number two, but I didn't want to make this an hour-long video, so we'll do it in two parts. Again, my name is Peg. My channel is Two Old Crows Mixed Media. Bye for now.